Vanilla Minecraft. Uh, I'm going to do a survival series at the request of a uh, friend of mine because she wanted to know how to play the game. Um, so yeah, well, I'm going to try to do my best to cover the basics and make it so that anybody who's not played before um, can successfully learn how to play, and, um, hopefully have some fun doing so. So first things first, I generated the, uh, world in, um, creative that way. If I want to do a flyby of a section later on, I'm actually able to, because if you just do survival... unable to change game modes, at least in this version. Um, actually, no, that's not right, because you can actually turn survival cheat mode on. But it doesn't much matter, because I'm not going to cheat. At least do my best not to. So, um, as you can see, we have a sun, and it travels across the sky. So, the first thing I need to do is find myself um, supplies so I can survive the night. Um, wow, that's not something I would expect to see near a spawn area. Now, this is either really, really fortunate, or this is really, really lousy, because there's two ways this can work. Temples have treasure. They typically also have monsters in them. So, what I'm going to do is, I guess I'll set up around here somewhere. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do it here. There's two things you have to do. You need tools, so you have to have wood for tools. You also need shelter. There's two ways to procure shelter. You can either dig yourself into a hill, yourself a little house or a cave where you can really build yourself a structure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a little 3x3 three three room to stay in for now until such point that I'm actually able to expand my um, place.
the other explaining I should do. Uh, for those of you who aren't sure what Minecraft is, um, it's a sandbox game, um, meaning that it is open-ended. There's a couple of goals, um, but in general, it's it's open-ended. You're allowed to build pretty much anything you can imagine within, um, obviously, the constraints of the game. But with some of the stuff that I've seen built, especially in these newer versions of the game, um, you're really pretty much unlimited with what you can build. So, go back to my hidey hole. Actually, let's let's do this. So, that's a, maybe a little more secure. So, I got my wood blocks. All you have to do to turn them into slabs, or excuse me, wood blocks, and actual blocks, is you just take them up to your your crafting grid, which you open by pressing the um, E key, which opens your inventory. So you take your raw wood, put it in your crafting grid, makes wood planks, and you can either left click and take one at a time, or you can um, right click, excuse me, shift click, and it automatically makes everything into whatever it is you're crafting. You want to be careful with that because obviously you don't always want um, a million things crafted. And believe me, we've all done it before. We've made 500 torches when we only meant to make one stack. So now the next thing I need that I've now that I've got planks is I need sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the selection of wood, whichever one it is that I want. Bring it up to the crafting bench, and then I'm going to right click on the stack, and it's going to split it in half. And then I'm just going to take the planks and stack them one above each other in a line, and then it makes um, sticks. So I'm going to shift click, take all of them. And then the next thing I need so I can make tools is a crafting bench. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pick up the whole stack. I really only need four. And what I'm going to do is bring it up to the crafting grid, and I'm just going to right-click in each of the squares, like that. It's going to make me my crafting table. I'm just going to bring it down to my hotbar. And then I'm going to select it and place it down by right-clicking. And it's, it's still light, uh, probably not for much longer, which isn't so good, because I've not seen any animals for food. difficulty sufficiently high enough, because I've done this before. Um, two tools that you absolutely want, especially for starting off, is you need a pickaxe. So what you do is you take your sticks, and you just arrange them like that. And then you need the wood planks across the top like that. And you have a, a wood pickaxe. Then the other thing you really want is a sword. And to make a, store, a sword, you take one stick and then two blocks or bars or whatever um, of items and put them above the stick. Is that a... That's a wolf over there. So yeah, as, as soon as I get myself equipped enough, we'll go check out this uh, temple. Um, but with it getting to be night... I really need um, some coal. I've not yet seen any. This is a potential issue because when night comes, it gets dark, obviously. It's night. And with night comes monsters. And monsters will try to kill you. So I'm going to, in, instead of finding coal, Okay, good thing that's sandstone. Um, I forgot what I was digging in. Um, you can make charcoal by burning the wood logs that you get from punching trees. Oop. 
see sun's going down, so it's going to be night soon, so I'm going to mosey back on across the water now that I've got some cobblestone. Um, things to know, if you dig under sand like this, it'll fall. Um, these blocks here are sandstone and will stay put, but if you dig under sand or gravel, which is this block right here, um, when you dig out from under them, they fall. So you always want to be conscious of what you're digging underneath if you're standing under a, um, or, or digging a tunnel underground, because uh, if you're not paying attention, you will get killed by uh, suffocation damage. Um, now I know you heard me talking about food. In that, see that bar on the um, down here. That's your your hunger bar, and when that gets empty, you start losing um, your life points, which is the bar over on this side here, and um, that will drain down to a one half heart or um, section um, as you starve to death. But as soon as you fill your your hunger back up by eating food, be it steaks, pork chops, potatoes, carrots, whatever, um, you start regenerating your health. It's also the only other way other than potions to regain health inside the game. So, it's night. Um, I don't have any wood other than um, planks, which is re really bad planning on my part. Um, I should have gone and got some more raw wood, that way I could burn it down into charcoal, but in lieu of that, I need to make myself a door, so we take our wood planks and arrange them in a 2 by 3 pattern, just like that, and the whole point of a door is so mobs can't get into wherever you're staying. Is that, um, is that the does that dog have a... Oh, no, he doesn't. He just looks like he had a saddle. Um, mobs can't open doors. Zombies will break them down. Um, so you always want to make sure you're somewhere where you're reasonably protected. And anytime you go out, make sure you shut your door. That way nothing can wander in. Um, next thing I'm going to make is a furnace. That way I can cook any um, meats that I get. And all you need to do is you take the cobblestone you get from mining stone and put them in a pattern just like this. Creates the furnace. Um, and you place it just like the crafting table. You just select whatever block you want to put it on, right click, goes down just like that. Furnaces um, require fuel, which either consists of uh, charcoal or coal. Um, I have neither right now. Um, and actually, I can just use oops, regular like wood blocks or sticks to um, create charcoal. And to create the charcoal, um, what I would do is I would put the logs that I receive from punching the trees or cutting them down with the axe in this block while I put whatever my fuel is down here. We need um, charcoal and coal um, to create torches which provide you light and keep the uh, monsters away. Um, so yeah, this is, this is pretty much Minecraft, um, at least the first night. Basic principle is Get yourself some shelter. Get yourself some of the very basic tools. Oh my god, they got really freaking creepy sounding. Um, get yourself basic tools. That way you can make yourself um, weapons and better, uh, are better able to protect yourself um, should you have to venture out at night. Like... I hear a nasty, nasty spider. Oh my god. You, you. Things to watch for spiders. Um, 
they are passive during the day, meaning they won't attack you. But at nighttime, um, if they hear you, they will attack. Or they don't even have to hear you. They, they detect where you are regardless. See, the skeleton can't get through the door. Nor can he shoot the door through the door. If it was the other way around, he can sometimes shoot through it. Anyway, so um, I'm going to leave this, this episode here, and uh, we'll see you next time, where we hopefully get some food and some coal and get ourselves set up for uh, surviving here. Hope you enjoyed this. As always, leave uh, comments, questions, things like that, and I'll uh, get back to them. Have a uh, great afternoon.